What is the deal with cryptocurrency? You've probably heard about the rapid increase in popularity of cryptocurrency or crypto, especially over the last few years, that's attracting financial institutions and investors alike. But maybe you're on the outside and you don't really understand the importance of cryptocurrency. And that's because cryptocurrency can seem kind of intimidating. There's a lot of uncertainty in terms of how it's regulated, and also there are a lot of technical terms associated with it. So this video is going to dive a little bit into common terms that you'll hear associated with crypto, as well as uses, to provide a basic informational overview. You should always work with a tax or financial professional when considering an investment, but hopefully after today's video, you'll understand a little bit more why people are crazy for crypto. So let's get started. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm attorney Alexis Johnson of the AFJ Law Group PLLC, and today we're providing an informational overview about cryptocurrency. I'm not a tax lawyer, so I'd recommend that you work with a tax or financial professional before you pursue any investment. But like anyone else, I was curious about the hype with crypto too. I've seen the news, I've seen Reddit, and I've read Elon Musk's tweets. So I wanted to provide just a brief overview, especially for those of you that may be interested in crypto, but just don't understand the basics. So think of this as Crypto 101, where we'll talk about common terms and uses for crypto to help you as you make it started on the crypto journey. But it's important to note that cryptocurrency is a volatile market, so working with a professional is going to be key. But for now, let's get started. So what is cryptocurrency? It is a digital currency that's secured through cryptography, which is the science of keeping information secure by transforming it into a form that unintended recipients can't understand. So typically this would be a readable message, which is often referred to as plain text, through cryptography is changed into an algorithm or a series of mathematical operations into something that someone who wasn't aware wouldn't be able to understand. It would look like gibberish. Why is that important for cryptocurrency? Because it allows for more secure transactions as well as controlling the generation of new currency and verification of current currency. Cryptocurrency relies on blockchain technology, which is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or nearly impossible to change, hack, or cheat. Unlike traditional currency, cryptocurrency is not controlled by any central government or authority. In some cases, certain cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Litecoin control the supply of new coins through a process called mining. Other coins are pre-mined, and we'll talk a little bit more about mining in the next slide. Because cryptocurrency is continuing to evolve, developers are consistently working to implement solutions to address problems as they arise in terms of scalability and security. Cryptocurrencies are designed in such a way that when one user spends a cryptocurrency, the digital ledger is updated to record the transaction and effectively debit one account while crediting the other. However, digital platforms face a challenge because they can be manipulated. To prevent manipulation, crypto goes through a process called mining. Mining is the process of verifying, storing, and securing crypto transactions, as well as creating more. So you may be wondering why a process like mining is needed, and that's because cryptocurrency is much different than traditional. Cryptocurrency doesn't have a central or third party to evaluate, verify, and record its transactions. Like when you make a payment using a credit card, the credit card company verifies and records that transaction. But when you're using cryptocurrency, there isn't a similar mechanism in place. Instead, it's verified by crypto miners. Aside from mining and blockchain, there are so many terms that you may hear when it comes to crypto. So here are a few more common ones. Address in digital currency is basically a destination where a user sends and receives digital currency, similar to a bank account. 
A fork is a change in a digital currency's rules or protocol, often as the result of a developer update. HODL is an acronym that originates from the misspelling of the word hold and stands to reason that despite a highly volatile market, sometimes you should simply hold on for dear life. Even though this video has covered some basics of cryptocurrency, you should keep in mind that cryptocurrency is an ever-changing area, especially given the lack of consistent regulations. So working with a tax or financial professional is going to protect you so that you can stay up to date on any changes as well as protect your investments. But I'm curious to hear from you and what your thoughts are about cryptocurrency. Do you see cryptocurrency becoming as popular and normalized as traditional currency? Right now, we know that Bitcoin is sort of leading the crypto pack, but do you see any other forms of cryptocurrency, like the current controversy with Dogecoin, giving rise to the same surge in popularity? And when do you think that will happen? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm interested to read them. My name is Alexis Johnson of the AFJ Law Group PLLC. And if you liked this video, I'd ask that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can continue to receive AFJ Law Group videos. Thank you for checking out this video.